final step is to sit. Ooh. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hi beautiful faces my name is Kayla you can call me Kay you can call me Kay babe it's up to you go ahead and subscribe right now smash that subscribe button give the video a big thumbs up and comment what you guys want to see next if you want to see this fall transformation hair and makeup like I'm giving you like I'm, I'm pretty much giving you blinkers I'm giving you a full face beat natural I'm, I'm giving you everything in this video so make sure you watch the entire video then we're going to get straight into I'm coming yeah. to you babes with freshly washed hair. I did go ahead and separate it into two parts. And I washed it with the Shea um, Moisturous Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthening and Repair Shampoo. And it looks like this. Let me see if I can get the focus for you. Looks like this. And it's very, like, it doesn't smell too strong, but it is with the key ingredient, shea butter, peppermint, and apple cider vinegar, and it cleanses and nourishes the natural um, hair. You know, yeah, this is what it looked like. So I used a pretty good amount. And now I'm gonna go in with the African, you know, Jamaican castor oil, whatever, strengthen and restore leave-in conditioner. Same products or ingredients are inside of this as well. And we're gonna use a decent amount, like, Ooh, a little bit, a little bit, like, we need, we need some product. And now I'm going to go in with some extra version argan oil. And it's just in a dropper bottle form. So I'm going to squeeze it up and pour it into my hand. And we're gonna use, not a lot, but now your oils or your whipped shea butters, things like that. That is another moisturizer, but it is also a sealant. This is gonna help to seal in the moisturizer that you already placed into your hair, which is gonna be your curling cream or your leave-in conditioner. So for my case, it was that leave-in conditioner so this is just going to help seal that product seal that moisture in lock it in and we're just going to make sure we get it evenly coated throughout the hair really focusing on those ends again and it just looks like this i ordered this bottle off amazon and it's just some aria oil okay I have coconut oil too, but today we're going to use that. I tend to switch it up and I'm going to take my detangling brush and we're going to start detangling from the ends and work our way to the top. This spray bottle is my best friend. It has argan oil, coconut oil, a whole bunch of different oils, black Jamaican castor oil, all of those are in here and some water. And I always try to make sure my hair is very saturated with water or damp, like I am fresh out the shower, freshly washed hair, but it tends to dry very fast. So I just make sure my hair is very damp. So you might see me go throughout the video with that spray bottle, making sure my hair is still wet during the process. This brush right here, I did order from the hair wax company that I order my hair waxes from. If you have not seen me paint my hair with the hair paint wax, make sure you check out the video. It's going to be pinned on the screen and also right here. Um, but this brush changed my natural hair life. I also use it for my wigs and everything. My naturally curly wigs. It just gives my curl pattern 
so much more definition like pretty curls come from this brush okay So I hope you babes are enjoying me struggle with these buns. I didn't know whether I wanted to wrap it around or pull it through the scrunchy midway. I usually do it that way and then feed out my curls and do some finger coils. So that's what I did for this video. But go ahead right now and comment what you think I should title the new series that I'm thinking about starting on my channel. I don't know if I want to do it on Monday or Wednesday yet. So let me know which day you think is best. But I want to do natural hair and makeup looks inspired for natural babes. So give me some ideas. I'm thinking natural babe transformations. Let me know right now down below in the comments. As you guys can see, I have on this silk scarf, so you know them edges are getting right. But I'm just going in with my beauty supply store, drugstore dollar eyebrow pencil, and we're going to get started on these brows. I had to talk about this little guy right here really quick, okay? I found this e.l.f. Uh, wax pencil. It's a shape and stay clear wax pencil. Looks like this packaging. It's a dollar. I found it at my Dollar Tree, okay? I had to let y'all know on some game right quick. Like, I used to love the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow wax thingy. But this one, four dollars is four dollar. One dollar. That's all I pay. You know you gotta get multiple when you see something good or you think gonna be good. Yeah, so anyway, I'm gonna get back to the brow. So now we are blending in and blending out this concealer. I am using the Cool Tan Shade from the LA Girl Pro Concealer. And I'm using an e.l.f. concealer brush just to buff that into the skin and have a flawless finish. Now I'm taking my e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer, I believe, and I'm using the lightest shade. I'm just using my finger to pat that in on my eyelid before we start applying shadows. Now I'm going into some affordable drugstore palettes. I use a NYX palette and an e.l.f. palette to achieve this fall look. Everything will be linked down below in the description for the products that were used in this video. I'm going to be taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer, and this is in the Cool Tan color. This is the same shade I use to clean up my eyebrows. So we're going to go like that. And then I'm going to be going in with my e.l.f. Cream Contour Palette. And I'm going to be taking the two deepest shades. So I went on and put my foundation in the places where my foundation is supposed to be. And I blend it out. 
the concealer with a sponge and a wet brush. And this is an AOA Studios E101 brush. It is in my shop, Miss A. Uh, everything's a dollar on there, okay? It's in my shop, Miss A haul. It was one of my first videos, but you can still go check it out. Like, pause this video and go check it out, okay? So this AOA brush is a F1 and it's a flat kabuki brush. It's really good for blending foundation. So I did let the product on my nose sit for a while and this just mattifies the product more and makes it easier to buff into the skin. Everywhere that I did cream contour, I am going to bronze using my e.l.f. bronzer palette and I'm using my Square Real Techniques foundation brush and that wet concealer brush as well. So to set my contour, I use the AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder in Warm. And to set everywhere I highlight it, I'm going to use the shade in Banana. And these are like my favorite affordable setting powders. A dollar, shop me, say, okay, I'm, I'm giving y'all tea, okay? And we not going to bake, we just going to... Sit this here. I bake my contour. Well, not really baked, but it's been sitting on there longer. Okay, if that makes sense. But I guess I should let this sit too. But I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not even gonna lie to you like I am. We finna brush this off, really. So like, in like three seconds, your time. 10 seconds of my time, okay? <sighs> okay, so I wanna show you the look with lashes and without lashes. So these are my natural lashes. Let me get it together. And our final step is to sit. Ooh. So now we are set. There's the eye look. There are my thin little lashes. I never really do a red lip, so I gave you guys a red lip. Stepping out of my comfort zone. Highlight is Fenty Beauty. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys some low light videos at the end of the video, so make sure you stay tuned to watch the entire video. If you watch it this far, make sure you subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. We want that subscribe button to be gray, okay? Hit your post notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. And give this video a big thumbs up, okay? And I'll see you guys at the end.